off from our backs. Just lay down on your back. Okay, you can rest your arms alongside your body or, yeah, just lie alongside your body. Palms facing up. And allow yourself to slowly arrive on your mat, physically and mentally. Bring your awareness to your breath. Breathe naturally without changing the pattern. Breathe at your own pace, nice, slow, deep and steady. Feel the heaviness of the bones each part of your body that contacts the floor, contacts the earth. And feel really grounded. Maybe release more with each exhale. Try to make your inhale and exhale even. And when you take an inhale, send the air deep down into your belly. Your belly rises. And exhale, compress your belly down, push all the air out of your body. fresh air, let it fresh air all the way into your belly, massage all the, all the organs, exhale, push all the toxins all out of your body, and relax your face, show some smiles, life is good, and show some attitude to yourself, for creating this space to really focus on yourself and practice self-compassion, self-care. If you still feel some thoughts or emotions coming in, just let them be there with you. Find space between the thoughts. Simply let them linger there and catch your attention back onto your breath. It's a practice. Just stay with your beautiful breath. Keep your breath deep and steady. Close your eyes. Let's do a short meditation about the third yama today, Asteya. Asteya means non-stealing. So first thing first, you might think of non-stealing from others' materials, properties. And you can practice Asteya by sticking with this layer. Nothing wrong. But yoga always has different layers. It can also be non-stealing from the credit for others' work, non-stealing from others' time, non-stealing from bounty of earth, and more importantly, non-stealing from yourself. Like your freedom, your happiness, your dream. So when you feel really anxious, stressed out, you are stealing your happiness. You are stealing your the feeling of, I mean, freedom. And you're stealing from your positivities, everything. 
and also like sacrificing your happiness for chasing shiny objects that are ultimately empty, or comparing with someone else who you think is more successful than you. So comparison is the thief of joy. So we were all born unique. Comparing will make us feel we are not prosperous, which steals our confidence, happiness, and contentment, and causes us to suffer. So chase after what others doing or having is a stealing from your own joy. So we want more sukha than dukkha. Sukha means ease. Dukkha means suffering. And in Yoga Sutras, Patanjali said, "One who is trustworthy, because he does not steal what belongs to others, naturally has everyone's confidence, and everything is shared with him. And those who live by avoiding." Theft have all wealth materialized for them. So, what is wealth? A prosperous world is not where one person has all the cash, right? It's a world where people have what they need, and what they need is not deprived of them. But sometimes people around us are not insecure because of this want. I want this. I want that. So, like the current situation, there's always a myth that if we are not sick, we don't have to worry about others. But for pandemic, it's wrong. There are a lot of people there, and you can get sick too. So we do need to go back to the first yama, ahimsa, which is non-harm compassion. So not engaging in ahimsa, non-harm, as the basic practice, will cause other people to feel insecure and steal their sense of security during this period of time. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Stay with the breath and bringing the affirmation into your mind. I have everything I need. I have enough. All through this practice, so I invited you to turn your palms up. <clears throat> so it's about receiving and offering. So during this practice, we、we'll、balance this receiving and offering, and try to find the wholeness and fullness in our body and mind. So this way, we won't feel anything missing. Any missing pieces within us? We as human beings, we are a whole. We are fullness. So we don't even have the bodies and the minds. It's more than that. It's the pure energy which is formless and eternal. Once we feel the wholeness. And fullness and complete, we will feel happiness and contentment. So our our everything will not be stole by anything else, and we won't even steal from others because we have everything we need. We already have enough. Deep breath in and deep breath out.
And from here, hug your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. You can rock from side to side. Give yourself a good massage on your lower back. Good. Now from here, extend your left leg out. Keep your right knee bent. Interlace your fingers on your right knee. Give your right knee a little bit squeeze. Inhale, release, switch sides. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Extend your right leg out. Inhale, release, switch sides. Bring your right knee in. Extend your left leg. Good. Now inhale, release. Exhale, switch sides. Squeeze your left knee. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring your right knee in. One last time. Inhale, release. Exhale, bring your left knee in. Good. Now extend both legs out. Extend your arms overhead. Give your body a big stretch. Oh, feel good. Now from here, inhale, raise your right leg up and left arm up into the sky. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg up and right arm up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, the other side. Right leg, left arm. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg, right arm. Exhale down. Now from here, both legs and arms up. Inhale. Exhale down with control. Retaining your breath out. One more time. Inhale, everything up. Exhale, retain your breath out and slowly come down. Good. Hug your knees towards your chest. Give yourself another big hug. And turn your body either to your left or right. And slowly push yourself up to Sukhasana, easy seat. You see your lie cross like position you can place blankets under your hips take a deep breath in through nose lengthening your spine oh, exhale let it go through mouth good now inhale arms overhead exhale palms touch hands to heart slightly tuck your chin inhale arms overhead exhale hands to heart Good. Now from here, inhale, open your chest, round, arch your spine, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. One more time. Inhale, forward, shine your heart. Exhale, back, round your back. Good, now inhale, neutral spine, seated. Good, now extend your right leg out to the side. Bend your left knee, your left knee facing towards the front. Good, now from here, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, side bend towards your right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, towards the right one more time. Stay here. Try to pull your left arm to the back and open your chest. Good. 
that inhale come up slowly exhale down switch sides bend your right knee extend your left leg out to the side try to turn your body facing forward towards your right knee inhale right arm up exhale side bend towards your left good inhale come back exhale come down towards your left and stay here keep breathing breathe into your right side or maybe your hamstrings Good. Now inhale, slowly come back. Exhale, release. Extend both legs out. Shake it out. Now bend your right knee. Place your left hand on your right knee. Left hand behind you. Fingertips on the mat. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, twist towards your right. You can look over your right shoulder if it's comfortable for your neck inhale slowly come back exhale twist and this time stay here keep your breath inhale grow taller exhale maybe twist more inhale lengthening exhale twist good now inhale slowly come back Extend both legs out, shake it out, maybe. Good. Now from here, bend your left knee. Switch sides, place your right hand on your left knee, left hand behind you, fingertips on the mat. Inhale, lengthening, stay nice and tall. Exhale, twist. Good. Now inhale, come back. Exhale, twist, and stay here. Look over your left shoulder. Keep your breath long and deep. Good. With next inhale, slowly come back. Extend both legs out, shake it out, anything you want. Good. Now we're going to come onto our hands and knees, tabletop position. Place some blankets for cushioning under your knees. Open your fingers wide, shoulders right over your hands, hips right over your knees. Good, we're gonna do some cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest, maybe gaze up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin. Inhale, drop, curl your tailbone up. Exhale, round. Imagine someone's pulling your back towards the ceiling. Inhale, drop one more time. Arch your spine. Exhale, round. Good. Now inhale, neutral spine, tabletop. Good. Now inhale, extend your right leg back. Toes facing down. Good. Engage your the back of your leg. Feel the energy through your right heel. Good. Now bend your right knee and do some hip rotations on your right hip. Make big circles as big as you can, nice and slow. With the breath. And switch directions. And exhale, drop your right knee down gracefully. Good. When you're ready, inhale, left leg long behind you. Toes facing down. Good. Stay here. Suck your belly in towards your spine. Keep your ears away from your shoulders. Good. Now from here, bend your right left knee. Do some hip rotations. Draw big circles in the sky with your left knee. Hmm. Switch directions. And 
Good. Now exhale, come down gracefully. Awesome. Now from here, inhale, right leg back, long again. Exhale, send your right knee towards your nose, knee to nose, and round your back. Inhale, back, extend it. Exhale, one more time, knee to nose, round your back, hover here. Inhale, back, extend it. Exhale, step your right foot forward this time, in between your palms. And slide your back knee back if you need. And make sure your right knee is right over your right ankle here. Good. And set your fingertips on the mat for support. Inhale, lengthening your spine, long neck, long spine. Exhale, push your hips back. Maybe straight up your right leg. Maybe keep it bent to Adha Hanumanasana half splits. Inhale, move forward slowly. Just gaze inside how you are feeling with this movement. Exhale, move back. Adha Hanumanasana half splits. One more time. Inhale, move back. Low lunge. Exhale, move back. Adha Hanumanasana and stay here this time. Noticing if your spine is flat and straight. Feel free to keep your right knee bent. Breathing to your right hamstrings. Try to soften the tension in there. Deepest breath. Good. With next inhale, slowly move forward, low lunge. Exhale. Inhale, raise both arms up. Anjali Asana. Palms maybe touch apart or bend your elbows. Your version. Oh, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Keep breathing. Lengthening through your front body. If you feel uncomfortable for your lower back, maybe lean your body forward a little bit. Good. Now from here, swing your right arm back. And keep your left arm forward to low lunge twist. Inhale, move your arms overhead. Exhale, move your left arm back. Keep your right arm forward. Maybe gaze towards your left fingertips. Inhale, move forward overhead. Exhale, one more time. Right arm back. Inhale, overhead. One last time. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, send your hands to the earth. Inhale, step your right foot back to your tabletop position. Release your left, right leg or right hip. Do some hip rotations, anything you need. Good. When you're ready, let's switch sides. Inhale, left leg back and long. Exhale, bend your left knee. Send your left knee towards your nose and round your back. Hover. Inhale, back, extend it. Exhale, knee to nose. Hover. Good. Inhale, back. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your palms. Slide your back knee back. Set your fingertips on the mat for support. Good. Now inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, move back to Adha Hanumanasana. Inhale, move back. Exhale, Adha Hanumanasana one more time. Keep a long spine. Inhale, forward, low lunge. 
exhale, coming to Adahanam Anahanamanasana one more time, and stay here. Breathe, breathing to your left hamstrings. Keep your left knee bent. Breathing to your left hamstrings. Send your breath deep down in there, and release the tension. Good. Now inhale, move forward, low lunge. Exhale. Inhale, arms overhead. Take your version. Palms maybe touch apart, or bend your elbows. Release your shoulders down. One more inhale, and exhale. Swing your left arm back. Low lunge twist. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale, arms overhead. One more time. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, arms overhead. Last time, exhale, right arm back. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands towards the earth. Inhale, left foot back to tabletop position. Release your left side. Any organic movements you need. Good. Now tuck your toes under. Take an inhale, lift up your knees off the mat slightly. Hover here. One breath. And exhale. Push your hips back and up to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Paddle out your feet here. Open your fingers wide. Try to press your heels towards the earth. Feel free to keep them lifted. You can also bend your knees and draw your belly in towards the spine. Push your hips up. Good. Long spine, long neck. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And deep breath out. Make yourself full. All down with the fresh breath, fresh air. Good. Now from here, inhale. Raise your right leg back and up. Keep your hips square. Good. Now exhale. Send your right foot forward in between your palms. Good. Pivot your left foot down. Turn your left toes out like forty-five degrees. You can set your heels in a line, or you can set your feet wider for more balance. Keep your right knee bent like a ninety-degree angle. Good. Set your fingertips on the mat for support first. Good. When you're ready, find your balance. Inhale, raise both arms up into the sky. Breathe it out about the last one. One. Relax the shoulders down. Take your version with the arms, palms touch apart, or bend your elbows. Good. Lengthening through your fingertips. If your arms straight, keep breathing. Good. With next exhale, send your hands, palms together. Bring your hands toward heart center. Take another inhale and exhale. Twist towards your left, and you can look over behind you as far as you can. Keep your feet at same position. Good. Now inhale. Come back. Exhale towards your right. Go as far as you can. Inhale. Come back. Exhale towards your left. Your gaze following your hands. Inhale back. 
Exhale one more time towards your right. Good, now inhale, move back. Exhale, send your hands towards the uh, earth. Good, now straight up your right leg. Maybe bring your left foot in slightly, closer to your right foot. Make your heels in a line. Fingertips on the mat for support. Inhale, take a long spine here. And exhale, fold to pyramid pose. Maybe just fold slightly, doesn't matter. It's okay, we don't fold easily. That's fine, that's perfect. But take the deepest breath. Fill up your belly. And send your breath deep down into your right hamstrings. Release the tension in there. Soften your right knee. One more breath. Good. Exhale. Now keep your hands beside your right foot. Good. Now shift your, you can bend your right knee, shift your weight forward. Take an inhale, maybe lift up your left foot off the mat behind you. Coming to standing splits. It doesn't matter how high your left leg can go. Just keep wherever you feel comfortable. Maybe you want more challenge. Use your right hand to grab your right ankle. Take a version. Listening to your body. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Now place your hands on the mat. Take an exhale, slowly drop your left foot back behind you. Place your hands on the mat, inhale. Step your right foot back to plank. You can drop your knees down. Good, and tuck your toes. Exhale, bend your elbows, come all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, push up, baby cobra. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, baby cobra. Exhale, down. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, push yourself up to tabletop position. Exhale, downward facing dog. Paddle your feet out here. Deep breath in, and let it go through mouth. Good. Now inhale, left leg back and up. Keep your hips square. Exhale, bend your left knee. Send your left knee, I mean left foot towards, in between your palms. Forward in between your palms. Good. Pivot your right foot down. Turn your right toes out like 45 degrees, pressing to the outer edge of your right foot. Keep your left knee bent. Good. When you find your balance, inhale, raise both arms up, overhead. Vidra Badlasana 1. Good. Take your version with your arms. Stay here for three breaths. Lengthening through the root chakra, the root of the spine. One more. Now exhale, palms together, send your hand towards heart center. Take another inhale. Exhale, twist towards your right and gaze following your hands. Go up as far as you can. Good, now inhale, move back to center. Exhale, twist towards your left. Good, now inhale, move back. Exhale, towards your right one more time. Inhale, move back. Exhale, towards your left. Awesome, inhale back. Exhale, hands on the earth. Maybe bring your right foot in closer towards your left foot. Straight up your left leg. Soften your left knee. Fingertips 
fingertips on the mat. Inhale, lengthening your spine. Exhale, fold, pyramid pose. Stay here, soften your left knee. Breathe into your left hamstrings. And try to relax your upper body. One more breath. Good. Now keep your hands beside your left leg. Shift your weight forward. Take an inhale. Lift up your right foot off the mat behind you. Come into standing splits. Option you can grab your left foot, left ankle with your left hand. And stay here. Breathe. One more breath. Good. Now gracefully drop your right foot behind you. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale. Step, step your left foot back to plank. You can drop your knees down. Hug your elbows in towards your midline. Exhale. Bend your elbows. Come all the way down to the mat. Good. Extend both arms overhead this time. Place your chin on the mat. Good. Now inhale, right arm, chest up and left leg up. Good. Exhale down. Inhale, left arm, right leg, chest up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, the other side, right arm, left leg. Exhale down. Good. Inhale, switch sides. Exhale down. Now this time, both arms and legs up and chest up. Inhale. Three breaths here. One more. Exhale down gracefully. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Inhale, push up. Tabletop. And send your hips all the way down onto your heels. Come into child's pose, balasana. Oh, find your version. Maybe you can bring your knees wide or just place them together. And turn your palms up. It's called Hasta Mudra. It's a hand gesture for receiving and offering. And just release here and bring in the affirmation with you. I have everything I need. I have enough. I have everything I need. I have enough. Send your breath deep down into your lower back. Fill up your lower back. Feel yourself full of energy, full of love, and full of positivities when you're breathing. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, slowly push yourself up to tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slowly walk your feet towards your hands. And coming to Uttanasana, forward fold. Bend your knees generously. Be nice to your lower back. Hug the opposite elbows. Swing from side to side. Ragdoll. Let your head drop. 
let the gravity do work. Deep is breath. Good. Now place your fingertips on the mat. And slowly walk your fingers towards your right and all the way towards the back. See how far you can go. And then stay there. Feel your left side. Keep your feet at the same position. You can keep your knees bent. One more breath. Good. Now inhale, walk your fingertips towards center, back. Exhale, walk them towards your left and towards, your uh, towards the back. Just see how far you can go and stay there. Feel your right side. Breathe into your right side. One more breath. Good. Now inhale, slowly walk your fingertips back towards center. Place your hands on your shins or on your thighs. Inhale, flat back. Halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees forward for one more time. Uttanasana. Inhale, roll your body back and up inch by inch. Nice and slow. And exhale, drop your shoulders down. Coming to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feel the grounding on your feet. Relax the shoulders, lengthening through the crown of the head. Uh, feel really strong and full here. Very tall. Good. Now from here, inhale, raise both arms overhead and sink your hips down towards the earth to chair. Utkatasana. Make sure you still can see your toes through your knees. If it's too much for your shoulders, you can place your hands at heart center. Good. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Swing your arms behind you. Airplane arms. Good. Now inhale, swing your arms forward and turn your palms up to a hasta mudra. Exhale, swing your arms back, hug your elbows in. Inhale, swing forward, palms facing up, hasta mudra. Good. Now exhale, send your hands down towards the earth. Inhale, step both feet back to plank. Exhale. Come all the way down onto the mat. Inhale. Push up. Baby Cobra or Cobra Bhujangasana. As long as you don't feel any pinching on your lower back. Tuck your toes under. Exhale. Push all the way back to down facing dog. Deep breath in and deep breath out. And this time, walk your hands towards your feet and as slowly as you can, no rush. Good. Now inhale, halfway lift. Adha Hanumanasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, open your arms. This time, keep the flat back. Come all the way up. Arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. And let's walk towards the top of the mat. Good. Set your feet like hip width apart. Inhale, come up. Come down to Uttakatasana chair. Good. Stay here. 
With your next exhale, swing your arms back one more time. Airplane arms. And inhale back, forward, palms up. Exhale, move back. Lean your body forward. Inhale back. Hasta Mudra, receiving and offering. Good. Exhale back. Good. Now inhale forward. And exhale forward fold. Send your hands on the mat. Inhale, step both feet back to plank. You may drop your knees down. Exhale, come all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, Cobra, Bhujangasana, or Baby Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Whew. Take a cleansing breath together. Inhale through nose. Exhale, letting go. Drop your knees down. Come into Balasana one more time. Take a break. Hmm. Release your shoulders, your lower back. Let your heart melt into the earth. Then now slowly bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, push up to tabletop position. Tuck your toes under. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Now stay here. Inhale, raise your right leg back and up. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your palms. This time, keep your left knee, left knee lifted. Good. Keep your left heel lifted. Good. Inhale. Raise both arms up to a high lunge. You can bend into your left knee. Okay, you don't have to straight up your left leg if it's too much for you. Good. Now exhale. Swing your arms back. Airplane arms. Lean your body forward. Inhale back, overhead. Exhale, move back, airplane. Now from here, try to shift your weight onto your right, right foot and try to slide your left foot forward and maybe lift up your left foot off the mat and come into warrior three. It doesn't matter how high you can lift up your left foot. Just stay wherever you feel comfortable. Soften your right knee. Good. Now slowly move your hand forward. And come into the Hasta Mudra. Receiving and offering. Find the balance between them. One more breath. Good. Now exhale. Drop your left foot back gracefully. Send your hand towards the earth. Inhale, step back to plank. Drop your knees down. Exhale, bend your elbows. Come all the way down. Good. Now inhale, come up. Ujjangasana. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now you can come into child's pose, balasana, anytime if you feel tired. Feel free. Good. When you're ready, inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, step your left foot forward in between your palms. Good. Keep your left knee bent. 
inhale raise both arms up high lunge you can bend your right knee behind you yeah. with next inhale and exhale swing your arms back airplane lean your body forward inhale arms overhead exhale airplane arms now from here, shift your weight towards your left foot and try to lift up your right foot off the mat behind you to warrior three. Soften your left knee, find your focal point, and slowly bring your hands forward, palms facing up. Hasta mudra. One more breath. Good. Now exhale. Drop your right foot back gracefully as you can. Exhale. Hands towards the earth. Inhale. Step your left foot back to plank. Drop your knees down if you need. Exhale. Bend your elbows. Come all the way down. Inhale. Bhujangasana. Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Pat it on your feet. Deep as breath. Good. Now from here, bend your right knee. Send your right knee in between your palms, coming to pigeon pose. Ekapada Kapotasana. Slide your back knee back. You can place blankets, pillow under your right hip. Keep your hips square. Good. You can just stay on your hands or you can come down onto your forearms. Take a version, listening to your body. <sighs> Make sure you don't have any pain in your right knee. And connect with your breath. Now inhale, slowly push yourself up. Let's meet at tabletop position. And do some organic movements on your right leg or right hip. Feel the difference between your right and left side. Good. When you're ready, let's switch sides. Bring your left knee forward. Slide your back knee back. Pigeon on the left side. Stay on your hands or stay on your forearms. You can also rest your forehead on your forearms or on the mat. Keep your hips square. Avoid leaning your body towards your left or right. We are not pursuing how low you can fold. 
So make sure your body is in alignment. And you can adjust your posture anytime if you feel you're released more. Now from here, inhale, slowly push yourself up using your arm strength. Let's meet at tabletop one more time. Release your left side, maybe some hip rotations. Cool. Let's turn our body over and sit on the mat. And bring your soles together and pick your version you can place your feet away from you or you can bring your feet closer to you so work out different parts of your body so just see which one you prefer for today for your body good now inhale lengthening your spine exhale fold Walk your hands maybe forward and come into butterfly pose. Just stay wherever you feel comfortable and easeful. Maybe you feel some discomfort, maybe just a sensation in your body. As long as you don't feel any pain or shooting pain, in your knees or your thighs then connect with the breath send your breath deep down into the, the place you feel the tension soften your mind relax your mind Good, now inhale, slowly walk your hands back, push yourself up, okay, slowly bring your knees together. Good, place your feet apart on the floor, place your hands behind you, rock your knees side to side, release your lower back. Now we're 
gonna come all the way down onto our backs. Hug our knees towards our chest. Give yourself a big hug. And now use your hands to grab the outer edge of your feet, with your feet apart, and press your knees towards your armpits. Come into happy baby pose. You can rock from side to side again at this pose. your feet, extend your legs out, Good. extend your arms overhead. So use your right hand to grab your left wrist. Good. Keep your hips at the same position and move your upper body towards your right. And also move your legs towards the right, coming to banana pose. Option can cross your left ankle on your right one for deeper stretch. Feel your left side. If you feel straight arms too much for you, you can bend your elbows, grab the opposite elbows. Take your version and continue to breathe deeply. Breathing to your left side. Feel the expanding in your left side when you take a deep breath in. Be left there. Try to relax your legs hips, your shoulders, with each exhale. body towards center and cross the legs. Now switch hands. Your left hand grab your right wrist or you keep your keep your hands at elbows. Good. Move your upper body towards your left and also your legs towards your left. Option cross your right ankle on your left one coming to banana pose on the left side. So find a position you feel comfortable, connect with your breath. Breathe into your right side. And bring in the affirmation one more time. I have everything I need. I have enough. I have everything I need. I have enough. Let's keep this affirmation in your mind.
to slowly bring your body back to center. Hug your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a little bit squeeze. Now keep your knees bent. Extend your arms out like a T. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop both knees down towards your right. You can turn your head towards your left shoulder if it's comfortable for your neck. Option, you can extend your legs out towards your right for a deeper twist. But make sure your left shoulder is on the mat. Close your eyes. Just gaze inside how you are feeling right now. Now bend your knees, take an inhale, slowly bring your knees back to center. Maybe you shift your hips towards your right slightly. And exhale, draw both knees down towards your left. Keep your right shoulder on the mat, you can turn your, right, turn your head towards your right shoulder. Option, you can extend your legs out towards your left or deeper. Send your breath deep down to the lower back. Massage your lower back. back to center and hug your knees towards your chest one more time give yourself a big hug now you can extend your legs out coming to Shavasana relaxation set your palms alongside your body palms facing up for receiving Awareness back to your breath. Start to relax each part of your body. Nothing become heavy, nothing soften. Exhale. 
feel yourself really connected with the earth. Feel the energy you're receiving from the earth. Remember the affirmation. I have everything I need. I have enough. I feel happiness. I feel confidence. I feel wholeness.
slow wiggle your toes and fingers make small movements to wake up the body extend your arms overhead give your body a big stretch and hug your knees towards the chest one more time give yourself another big hug ready you can turn your body either to your left or right and turn yourself up to your Sukhasana easy seat keep your eyes closed let's bring on palms at heart center you're gonna turn the palms up Hasta Mudra for receiving and offering as they are now stealing from our happiness and contentment. Good. Let's end up this practice with the sound OM, the healing energy, the whole vibration. Let's start from a deep breath in. Deep breath in through nose. Oh. Deep breath in and let it go through mouth. <sighs> Good. Palms at heart center. Thank you so much for. Uh, allowing me to guide you through this practice and may we all live in fullness and wholeness let's bring the thumbs at third eye center the fullness in me honors the fullness in you from my heart to yours namaste